this video, we're going to look at an example of an optimization problem in order to get a better idea of how we progress through these problems. Normally, however, on IB exams, long optimization problems are broken up into smaller sections. So you'll be walked through the questions step by step. So let's look at the question on the Bolster Academy website. It reads, a farmer has 300 meters of fencing and would like to make a rectangular pen for his cows. What is the maximum area that he can enclose? So before we even start into the question, let's just draw a rough sketch, rough diagram to help us think about the problem. We've got a rectangle. We don't know the length of either of the sides of the rectangle, so we can call these X and Y, but we do know that the entire rectangle has to add up to 300 meters. So our first step, we should try and create an equation that relates the variables that we have in the problem and then isolate one of the variables. Well, we know that the entire perimeter of the rectangle must be 300. Therefore, 2x plus 2y equals 300. If we isolate either of these variables, so for example, we isolate y, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides, and then we're going to divide both sides by 2. And we're left with y equals 150 minus x. So we've successfully completed the first step. Let's move on to step number two. We want to create an expression for the quantity to be optimized. So what are we trying to optimize? We're trying to optimize the area. Now, area is length times width, so area is x times y. Simple as that, we finish step two. In step three, what we need to do is we need to substitute in the variable that we isolated in step one into our expression or equation in step two. So here we can replace y with 150 minus x. Multiply at the brackets and we get area is equal to 150x minus x squared. And finally now step four is where we use calculus or the derivative in order to find a minimum or maximum point of the function. The most important thing to understand here is that we need to be able to tell the difference between the maximum value of the function and the value at which the maximum takes place. So one is your x value. What x value does this function have a maximum at? And the other is your y value. What is the actual maximum value that this function takes on? It's important when we read exam questions that we understand the nuance that can be at play here and we correctly read the question in order to give the answer that's being sought. So we've got an expression for the area that's 150x minus x squared. Now we need to differentiate this. So differentiating 150x, we get 150. And differentiating minus x squared using the power rule, we multiply by the power and drop the power by 1. So it becomes minus 2x. So now that I've got my expression for the derivative, I need to solve this equal to 0 in order to get my value at where the maximum or minimum occurs. So I can go into scratch pad, menu, algebra and I can hit n solve to solve this for me. So I'm going to do 150 minus 2x is equal to 0. And remember we need to define the variable we want it to solve for, so we want to solve for x. Hit enter and we get x is equal to 75. So what's this telling me? This is telling me that I have my maximum point at x equals 75 it doesn't mean that the maximum is 75. Next, I'm going to have to substitute this value into the area function in order to get the maximum value of the area. So remember, my area function is 150x minus x squared. I'm going to replace x with 75. So I'm going to say 150 times 75 minus x squared, so minus 75 squared and I get 5,625. This is the maximum value of the function. So the maximum value occurs at x equals 75, and the value that it takes on is 5,625. This is the maximum area that we can enclose with 300 meters of fencing.